The step out move is one of Chris Paul's go to moves that he has used for most of his career. He mainly uses his move in isolations against mismatches, but this has worked against some of the best defenders in the league as well. This move is simple and effective and when mastered, it is unguardable since it is hard for defenders to anticipate and react to it. And with that being said, in this video, I will be teaching you how to do this move by breaking down the steps along with some details to bear in mind. I will also put the pieces together and break down a few examples of how Chris Paul uses his move in games just to help you gain some perspective on how you could apply this in your games as well. And without further ado, let's get into this. Beginning with how to execute this move, let's begin with step 1. Size up your defender. The key to this step is to find out what the defender is reactive and less reactive with and use it against them. This can be done in several ways and to name a few. One way is by dribbling slowly to lull your defender to sleep. Another way involves dribbling with varying pace to keep your defender guessing. You can make a hard dribble move towards the right or the left to see how your defender reacts. Next, step 2. Step out of the defender's frame. Let's take this example of Chris Paul stepping out towards his right. The footwork starts with you lifting your right foot and stepping out of the defender's frame. You will then step with your left foot into a balanced stance. The sequence is a quick and abrupt 1-2, while you also bring the ball into your shot pocket before going into your shot. And finally, step 3. Shoot the ball. If you created enough separation and stepped into a balanced stance that you're comfortable shooting out of, you should be able to get a clean shot off. Also, bear in mind that you can gain some extra separation by adding a slight fade into your jump shot, and at times that could give you just about an inch of separation to get your shot off. This is a great move for undersized guards, and it is meant to be used against bigger defenders. When this move is mastered, you have a solid and dependable go-to move that you could use in isolations. And now to help you understand how to use this move more effectively in game, let's take a look at some examples of how Chris Paul applies this move in game. And there you have it, Chris Paul's signature move, the step out. I encourage you to watch this video over again to understand the steps and details of executing this move. If you found this breakdown helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, as I'll be posting more basketball content in the future. This has been your boy DHZ, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.